Hi there, Utah GOP. Sam Parker here. I'm running for the U.S. Senate. I have something really exciting that I want to talk to you about this afternoon. I, I just got home from church, uh, and this has been on my mind for a couple days now, and I just can't hold it in. i got to tell you right now, and that is this. Uh, many of you on the campaign trail have asked me, how can we be sure that you're going to keep your promises to us? How can we be sure that the swamp in D.C., the district of corruption, is not going to swallow you up? How do we know that you're not saying one thing here and then you're going to go off to Washington and do something different? Like so many representatives and senators have done. And that we've seen we've seen that happen all around the nation. A lot of Tea Party, a lot of guys and, and gals got elected as, as members of the Tea Party or on the Tea Party wave, and they have failed to govern. Uh, up to their promises, up to their uh, conservative promises and, and promises of limited government. And so I've been thinking about that. What assurances can I provide to Utah? Because look, I am certain of myself, right? I am certain that I stand for liberty and limited government. I want to make American government local again. I want to put the U back in Utah. I tell you these things and I believe them. It burns in my soul. But what assurances can you have? Because you need assurances. It's healthy for citizens and voters to mistrust their government, to distrust uh, their legislatures or and their, and their legislators, right? Uh, that's part of being vigilant. We have to keep an eye on people. And so here's what the promise that I want to make to you 4,000 state delegates. It's a special promise. This interaction that we are having in the caucus convention process where I am answering your questions, I make myself available to you, uh, and, and you are able to hold me to account and get transparency out of me, I promise to you right now that this is not going to end on April 21st or uh, June 26th or at the general election in November. I want to continue this special interaction and this special relationship with you 4,000 state delegates going forward throughout the, the entirety of my six-year Senate term. What form will this take? I'm not sure, but I envision things like newsletters, emails, teleconferencing, teletown halls, in-person appearances, the same things that we are doing during this caucus convention time. I want to continue doing those things with you 4,000 state delegates. You, my friends, are the tip of the spear. If I get elected senator, it will be in no small measure because of you and your efforts. And I will am pledging to continue this special relationship with you. How often will it happen and what form it will take? I'm not sure. And the reason I'm not sure is because I want to work with you to decide and collaborate with you to decide what is it that you are going to require and need from me so that you will have reasonable assurances of accountability and transparency. We're going to figure that out together, whether it's once a month, once a quarter, a few times a year. I don't know. We're going to collaboratively figure that out. And, 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 and in doing so, we're going to figure out, okay, what is it that we need from Sam Parker as our senator to to maintain transparency and accountability, but at the same time, allow him the freedom to be able to do uh, represent us and do the work that needs to be done back in Washington. There's going to be a balance there and trade-offs. And I'm going to work with you and you're going to work with me. We're going to figure that out together. What's that going to be? How can we maintain these assurances? And then we're going to, we're going to fix them. We're going to put them in place. And then we're going to go forward with them and we're going to tweak them as necessary. But you will know if I start to stray from those promises and that collaborative deal that we hammer out. You'll know if we stop, if I stop doing it or I don't uphold the promises that we collaboratively make, you'll know that I'm starting to stray into the other lane, into the DC lane, into the swamp lane. And that really brings up another uh, reason why I want to do this, because we know the swamp swallows people and that over time uh, people can make compromises or succumb to corruption or, or, or whatever it is. I want you to be my safety net, to be my lifeline. Listen, I am hardcore for you. I'm hardcore uh, and all about integrity and limited government. But, you know, the future's not written. I want to make assurances for myself that I am not going to succumb to those things. I want to keep myself, uh, I want to give myself all the protection I can against corruption. And so I'm asking you, 4,000 state delegates, to be my final lifeline, to keep me from straying lanes, to keep me on the straight and narrow. This is is a two-way process. I want to make American government local again. I want to put the U back in Utah. And I think this is a really good way to do it. We've talked a lot, or I've talked a lot recently about states not having a seat at the table at the, uh, in the federal government because of the 17th Amendment. 
Well, I want to also replicate this process with our state legislature. I want to collaboratively work with them to, to establish a two-way communication, a collaborative communication with them uh, to a level that will give them assurances and, and a feedback mechanisms to, you know, act and govern as if, uh, you know, I, this is a partnership with them. So again, they will be able to hold me to account and they'll know if I'm drifting lanes or not doing the business of the people in the state of Utah. They'll be able to speak to the press about it. They'll be able to speak to you about it. And in this way, I am creating multiple checks and balances upon me, your Senator, and also providing myself multiple lifelines. And not only that, but gaining the wisdom of you 4,000 state delegates and the wisdom of the state legislature. One guy doesn't, have all the answers, but he can provide leadership and cohesiveness. And so I'm asking, I want to harness your wisdom and your intelligence and your knowledge of the needs and, and demands and wants of Utahns in the state of Utah. So these are the pledges that I'm going to make. I'm not aware of any other candidates making these pledges. Perhaps when this word of this promise and pledge gets around of mine, they will feel compelled uh, to make similar promises as well. And that's fine. That's great because that's that demonstrates the magic and the power of this caucus convention process, right? Uh, you know, if if me making these process, uh, this promise and, and commitment to you to hold me accountable forces other candidates to have to make the same promise and commitment and hammer out the same collaborative uh, ideal, then all the better, right? So I'm in this, I'm in it to win it. All right. I, I would love your support. These are the commitments and promises I'm making to you. Our relationship is not going to end on April 21st. In fact, it is going to grow stronger and deeper and more meaningful. And we uh, together are going, to be, are going to be an example to the nation of how to make government local again and bring accountability back to our representatives and senators and help drain this swamp and help protect our uh, uh, the interests of the average American citizen. My friends, GOP state delegates, I, uh, I, I'm I asking for your support. And I'm asking for your feedback. I'm going to have some other big announcements coming in the next day or two. Please don't miss them. Please like and follow my Facebook page. I'm probably going to uh, release this a video on YouTube as well for those who don't do Facebook. But please share this and please talk about it. Think about how you want to do this collaboration. Have a great afternoon, GOP. Thanks a lot for your time. Bye-bye.